So today we're diving into an investment tool that has been helping me to build my portfolio, and that's ETFs. Specifically, we're going to be talking about VTI. So whether you're new to investing or looking to diversify, ETFs offer a powerful and easy way to get exposure to different sectors, industries, and asset classes in one single fund. So I'm Lisa J. Stocks. If you're not already, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos or live streams. So let's start with the basics. What is an ETF? It's an exchange traded fund, a basket of securities that you can buy and sell like a stock. The beauty of ETFs is that you get built in diversification instead of picking individual stocks. You're investing into multiple companies in that one purchase. For example, when you invest into VTI, the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF, you're getting exposure to almost 3,700 companies from startups to large corporations. That's a powerful way to build wealth without having to pick each stock yourself. Did you know that the U.S. ETF market recently reached a whopping $10 trillion in assets? When ETFs first launched back in the 1990s, no one could have predicted this type of growth. But here we are. And it's largely due to ETFs offering a diverse, low-cost way to invest across different industries. So whether you're interested in tech or real estate or energy, there's an ETF for that. It's this flexibility and built-in diversification that make ETFs a game changer, especially for those beginners and for those long-term hands-off investors. Now, let me tell you how I became such a big fan of VTI. Back in September of 2022, I started a challenge over on Keenan Grace's Discord to invest $10 daily into a ETF or blue chip stock. At that time, I chose VTI because I felt that I was too heavily weighted in those individual stocks in my portfolio. So I took this as a chance to build out my foundation and get some diversification into the mix of investments that I had. And this challenge, which was just for a few weeks, has become a part of my life now. It is a part of my budget. I've been going for over 100 weeks. It has seriously changed my financial outlook. It was a little hard at first. It was something different. I had been incorporating dollar cost averaging, but never on a daily basis like this. But as you can see, I have been sticking with it. And I'm going to go over my current results. It is October the 2nd. I just got my dividend payment today, but let's go through all of the numbers. I currently have 23.8 shares. My portfolio is up 25.32%. Plus, as I said, just got that dividend of $20.59 which I am currently reinvesting in order just to buy more shares because my focus right now is building up this portfolio. That dividend payment is just helping me on that journey. My current average price is $224.33, while the stock price as of the time that I'm recording is $280.25. So my average is made up of all of the different price points that I've been buying it over the last few years. So now let's take a look at the current performance year to date of 19.13%. Over the last year, up 32.33%. And over the last five years, up 87.48%. And now let's take a look at some historical returns of VTI. The stock market has its ups and downs, and there's going to be years when the market is significantly down, like 2022, 2018, and, of course, 2008. A year that I really remember going through that hard financial crisis. But what we have to stay focused on is that the market will recover. In 2022, we were faced with the challenges of the rising inflation, the interest rate hikes, but now we're seeing those things start to shift. There was issues related to trade tension with the U.S. and China, concerns of slowing economic growth and other issues 
that led to a negative performance. But there are various economic factors that can cause this. We just have to realize that our investing is for the long term and in time, the market will recover and so will our portfolios. ETFs can be an amazing asset for beginners, allowing you to build a diversified portfolio without having to pick those individual stocks. So whether you're investing 10 a day, larger amounts, or even much smaller amounts, like a dollar a day, ETFs can make it easy for you to take advantage of the growth of these type of investments over time. Making investing a habit has been one of the best things that I have done for my financial future and for my families. So I'm going to keep going, but I'm seeing that small amounts really do add up over time. And I've never invested more than my $10 at a time. I've been building up this portfolio without any stress about the performance or any significant stress on my personal budget. Now let's take a quick look at the investment calculator as we talk about the power of compound growth. So I'm currently at $6,688. If I continue contributing about $200 a month for the next 10 years, these would be my results. I would contribute an additional $24,000, gain interest of $26,000 for an ending balance of $57,000. One of the most powerful aspects of investing into ETFs like VTI is the compound growth. The longer you stay invested, the more your money works for you. With each dividend payment and the price of the shares increasing, you're growing your wealth, especially if you're doing what I'm doing, which is reinvesting those dividends. So in this example, I'm just using a modest rate of return of 10%. But when we looked at the performance over the last few years, we saw that it was significantly more. So take some time, put some numbers in the investment calculator for yourself and see what committing to investing based on your budget can do for you over time. Now let's take a quick look at the funds and talk about why diversification matters. So let's take a close look here at the sectors that you get exposure to by investing into VTI. Diversification is one of the most important things to consider when investing. By spreading your money across different sectors and industries, you reduce your risk. For example, with VTI, you're investing in thousands of companies across multiple sectors. So we have technology at 29.2, we have healthcare at 12.1, financial at 13. 13.3, discretionary at 10.2, industrial at 9.5 and more. So if one sector dips, another might be performing well, helping you to balance your portfolio. The top 10 holdings are Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Amazon, Meta, Google, Berkshire Hathaway, Broadcom, Eli Lilly, and then another Google class. And we're looking at this on ETF Research Center, which I often use when I'm taking a deeper look at ETFs and want to find out different things about them, including their overlap of the different types of investments. So let me know in the comments, what is your favorite ETFs? Do you incorporate them into your investing strategy? Make sure to look out for my quarter end dividend update. I'll be putting that out soon and we'll see the other dividends that I receive for this quarter end. And remember, whether you're just starting out, you have a tight budget, investing is for everyone. And being able to buy fractional shares, not having to jump in with a buy a full share. You can invest as small as $5 on many of the platforms that I use. So I'm glad that in this day and age, I feel that investing is accessible to everyone. ETFs are the backbone, are the foundation of my investing strategy. And I definitely believe that incorporating them is helping me to build wealth over time while minimizing my risk. So if you made it all the way to the end of the video, I hope you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure to like this video and put that notification bell on. And if you're ready to start investing or enhance your investing, check out my referral links for Moomoo and Weeble. They will be in the description and pinned in the comments.
We'll both get free stock and you'll be supporting the channel. And another way you can do that is by joining channel membership. So thanks for watching. Make sure to leave me a comment and let me know if you enjoyed this video. Okay, bye.